It's happening more in Bernalillo County, all terrain vehicles and side by sides being involved in crashes or racing away from officers. Now, the Albuquerque police unit charged with hunting down those drivers has been dismantled. In a Target 7 investigation, Sasha Leninger finds out who's in charge of citing the drivers breaking the law. They were known as the open space unit. I actually had two dirt bikes up here uh, in the foothills area command flee from one of my open space rangers. They were tasked with enforcing ATV laws, performing water rescues, and patrolling the bosque and open space areas. But they no longer fully exist after being dissolved in January. You know, those officers back in the field and, you know, having those boots on the ground, taking calls for service. According to Albuquerque police, these specially trained officers will perform open space duties on a part time basis. I was surprised that he stopped. They usually run. So who's now in charge of enforcing ATV laws within Bernalillo County on a daily basis? The DWI unit, we've kind of taken um, a side role with the Southwest Area Command. Lieutenant Chris Patterson oversees the DWI unit with APD. He says his unit, along with officers in the southwest part of the city and those in the valley, are looking for those driving off highway vehicles, breaking the laws. They're doing wheelies, they're um, driving in between traffic, doing donuts on the city streets, and then when officers try to stop them, they flee. Just last month, there two heads westbound on Gold through third. APD dealt with at least three crashes involving off highway vehicles. The ATV just crashed. This one leading the helicopter crew Air 2 across the city from downtown. We're at 6229 Gonzalez, leaving the ATV behind. He hopped on as a passenger on the dirt bike. To the South Valley. Front door running west. APD says it has issued 21 citations for people who were driving ATVs on city streets. They say the majority happened in the southwest part of the city with 14 citations. Three were in the valley and two each for the northwest and northeast. We were able to, to stop four different UTVs out there issue some citations. We actually made a DWI arrest out of that as well when we were out there dealing with that this weekend. Target 7 looked through court records to find the outcomes of those 21 citations. We couldn't find all of them. From January 1st through the end of June, there were six people within Bernalillo County that were cited for off-highway vehicle violations. Well, all cases are still pending in court. Officers say they want you to enjoy your ATVs, but they're seeing too many drivers breaking the laws and putting the lives of others in jeopardy. They're capable of driving at a high rate of speed and a smaller footprint, so people aren't looking for them necessarily like they would for other cars. From drivers doing donuts in city parks. Pretty angry. They had just built this park a couple of years ago. To running red lights on city streets. I keep wondering what would have been better if, you know, I, because I was holding my son's hand. Killing a seven-year-old Albuquerque boy. If there truly is an angel on earth, I think he was one. Who was enjoying the river of lights with his family. And I was walking right next to him. I am lucky to have my life, but I also feel unlucky to, to be alive. Simply put, this. We're going to air support just like with the uh, ATV. He's been doing the most very night driving so far. Needs to stop. At APD, we're not going to allow it to happen. Just as you saw, we're going to use all the assets that we have. We're going to make every attempt to stop you and to prevent you from crashing and driving and hurting somebody else. Because that somebody else is someone's loved one. We don't want this forgotten. We don't want another family to suffer the same way. For Target 7, I'm Sasha Leninger. If you're caught illegally driving an ATV, you'll get a $200 fine. That can climb up to $800, plus other citations for any traffic laws you break.